What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Doc Talk West Virginia. Today's episode will be going over upcoming tournaments for this weekend and also give you an update on how the lakes are looking around the state. So stay tuned. Welcome back everyone, Shane Rains, Dog Talk, West Virginia. And today we're just gonna go over some of the uh, lake reports, how the lakes are looking, um, and also get into some upcoming tournaments for this weekend if you're looking for a tournament to uh, participate in. So let me check my notes, we'll get right into it. Lake reports, uh, if you don't know, you can actually log into the Army Corps of Engineers site and, and they keep this thing updated every so many hours. It up, uh, uploads and updates. So you can follow along on that if you ever have a question on uh, how the lakes are looking as far as reference to summer pool and even outflow temps and a bunch of cool information. So you can always uh, log into that site. And that site is www.lrh.usace.army.mil. That takes you to the Huntington District's uh, website. All of our lakes are listed on there that are Army Corps of Engineer uh, lakes that they maintain and uh, govern over. So you can actually log in there and uh, find all that information for yourself at your convenience. But I'll kind of go over some of this stuff. We've had a ton of rain over the last uh, week or so, uh, just enough to where we're starting to see those lakes fill. So some of the lakes that are at Summer Pool, that are already at Summer Pool, there are a few that are within a foot, so they're gonna be there by this weekend. Sutton Lake, Burnsville Lake, Paintsville, Yatesville, Bluestone, Grayson, and East Lynn. All of these lakes are at Summer Pool uh, or will be by this weekend. So we're going to try to take advantage of this nice weather that we got coming up. Uh, like I said, lakes are, are filling up, so that's always a plus. Some lakes to note that are still trying to uh, uh, fill, so they're still holding water. That's Summersville. Summersville Lake is still 20 foot low. Beach Fork is actually six foot low right now. So that's your update on some of the lake reports, what the lake levels are actually looking at, looking like right now. Uh, so let's dive right into some upcoming tournaments. Uh, we got obviously Saturday the 27th, Sunday the 28th. Saturday, we'll get into some Saturday tournaments for you. Saturday. April 27th, Trail of Dreams Master Series. They are kicking off their Master Series. Trail of Dreams runs three tournaments for the Master Series. Um, the payouts are, are, are better, uh, bigger payouts, bigger field, a lot of fun things for this tournament. Uh, this is at Summersville Lake. It is sponsored by Northside Automotive in Summersville. They put on a great show, fished this tournament uh, for several years now. Northside does a great job stepping up and hosting this event for the weigh-in and also the check-in on Friday. So, there is $5,000 first place to take to take the win for this tournament. That is, if they fill the, fill the tournament, there is a 100 boat cap on this tournament. So, if they fill it, 5,000 bucks to win. That, that's, that's a huge payout to somebody. So uh, if you're looking for a tournament up in the Summersville area, that's a great one. Um, Friday night registration at Northside Automotive. They always do a cookout. They do a great job. We appreciate everything they do for the tournament uh, community and the bass fishing community. 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. at Northside Automotive on Friday. Uh, also, the weigh-in will be held at, at Northside, I believe, also. They are launching from Battle Run. They got enough water in, battle, uh, in, in the lake now that they uh, can use the ramp facilities out of Battle Run. Uh, as we all know, the parking's a lot better there. Uh, a lot quicker, a lot easier to use compared to the marina ramp when the lake is still so low. So that's exciting there. Uh, top five from this tournament. Top five will automatically uh, uh, get their qualifying spot into the uh, end of the year, the, the championship. The championship will be held right here on the Canal River. Uh, as you can see behind me, there, there's a lot of debris floating in the river. The rivers are starting to come back down to normal, uh, but there's still a lot of debris, still a lot of debris. Uh, but it's starting to clear up, so that's, uh, that, that's looking up as far as all the rivers around. Also, Hawking River Bassmasters. Uh, president is Brad West. Brad West follows the page, always relaying information to me. Brad, I appreciate that. They are uh, holding their 26th annual Open Buddy Bass Tournament. That is going out of Belpre, Ohio. 
Uh, if you've never fished that area of the Ohio River, there, there's a lot, a lot of great fish in that, uh, in that area. Uh, any information do you want uh, to, to get in contact with Brad? Uh, Bass Nation of West Virginia Facebook page actually shared this uh, with, uh, with everyone. If you have any other questions, you can always reach out to me and we'll get you Brad's phone number and email and he can let you know how to get involved in this tournament. So best of luck to everyone in Belpre this weekend. Also, Boyd County QB Club Bass Tournament. My good buddy um, from down, he works down at the Great Outdoors Marine. Oh, excuse me. Grant Ferguson and his brother actually are running this tournament. That is going to be held at Yatesville Lake. This is a great tournament. They're raising a ton of money for the QB Club Boyd County. Uh, so it goes to a great cause. 3000 bucks going to first place. That is if they fill it with 75 boats. So that's really exciting. Great payout, Yatesville Lake. You can register at the ramp. They are taking entries at the ramp. So that's a great thing. Uh, also, I believe he told me that they waived the late fee at the ramp, so you don't have to, that's no concern now. Show up, you can pay at the ramp, get there early, help these guys out, uh, as I'm sure it'll be busy at the ramp, so best of luck to everyone down there. Uh, also, on a little bit different note, Canal River Catfish Club. I know we mainly talk about bass fishing, but the Catfish Club is actually holding a tournament here out of Nitro this weekend, that is Saturday as well. Um, Man, they get a huge turnout, so if you're a cat fisherman, fisherwoman, get out. Uh, they're having a great tournament out of here. If you have any questions, reach out to me. You can look them up on Facebook. Uh, like I said, Canal River Catfish Club. Uh, I don't know entry fees or uh, some of that information. I'd be glad to try to help you find that. I've got some buddies that fish that trail, so if you have any questions, reach out to me and we'll, we'll get you in contact with someone. Wayne Pioneers Bass Fishing Team. Uh, Wayne Pioneers, I tell you, uh, shout out to these guys. Uh, they put in a ton of work to raise money for their club, uh, for their team. They work, they, they grind it out, and they, and they do a great job and have a great support from the community, local community, helping these guys out and gals out. So, they are holding their Nick Claytos uh, Annual Memorial Tournament. That is on East Lynn Lake on Saturday. Uh, so this is all about supporting the team, supporting the kids. So if you're looking for a tournament out of East Lynn, that's going to be a great tournament as well. So keep that in mind. Wayne Pioneers, good luck to you all coming up uh, qualifiers and also the state championship guys. Uh, I love what y'all are doing down there. Hometown Bass Boys, this is something a little bit different. Uh, it's gaining a ton of steam. As we all know, CPR, Catch Photo Release, their tournaments are set up on the same, same style. They're actually Catch Video Release. So they give you an identifier token or a chip or some form of identifier. Once you register the morning of, you actually you know, catch fish. Uh, they got to be uh, laid out on an appropriate measuring device in inches. Uh, they might actually do uh, pounds, uh, do, you actually weigh these fish, I'm not 100% sure, but I know that all this is documented by video. It's gained a ton of steam. They've had a great turnout last few tournaments. I follow along and, and man, they're, they're in some prime waters. They are on Elk Fork Lake this weekend. So Elk Fork Lake in Jackson County, Saturday. Uh, so like I said, catch video release so you will definitely have to have a smartphone or some form of uh, video and device to be able to compete in this tournament so shout out to them best of luck to everyone out there uh, i've seen some giants caught out there here here lately uh, the bass are spawning some are all, have already spawned out but there will be some big ones caught so best of luck southern west virginia kayak anglers they kick off their season they do have a members only online tournament on saturday if you're looking for a kayak tournament uh, reach out to these folks you can look them up on facebook southern west virginia kayak anglers uh, they do a phenomenal job great buddies with a lot of them uh, members only online tournament on saturday so keep that in mind uh, get in contact with them if you're looking for a tournament um, they can let you know the full details of it times uh, eligible waters and so forth and how to become a member because as long as you become a member you can fish this online tournament summers county kayak bass anglers uh, they are based out of Summers County, obviously. They are holding their first tournament of the year, Border County Bass Battle. Uh, so basically what they're doing is they have some eligible bordering counties. Those counties include Summers, Monroe, Greenbrier, Fayette, Mercer, and Raleigh. There's 14 eligible lakes in, in these zones. You can fish any of them. Uh, and they're also doing a pretty cool uh, cleanup contest that goes along with that tournament. You can get on their Facebook page, message them if you have any questions. Uh, 
Uh, Austin Lilly does a great job. They have a full team of people that's always putting putting uh, together some really cool stuff for their tournaments. So get out and support them if you're looking for a uh, tournament down in southern West Virginia. So uh, we'll get right into Sunday. Bass Sportsman has an event on the Ohio River in the Belleville Pool. Um, I couldn't find a whole lot of information on that. If you have uh, questions, reach out to me. Uh, I'm not 100% sure who's running that out of Ohio. I know the Bass Sportsman's Mark Gowdy does a great job with that. He, he might be the one still running that. I'm not 100% sure, but they do have a tournament, Bass Sportsman, on the Ohio Belleville Pool. Also, West Virginia Bass Federation, stop number two. They are at Burnsville. This is their buddy trail. Uh, Burnsville's putting up some really good fish right now. Uh, the lake is at Summer Pool. Uh, Dana Brown uh, posted a picture. Uh, he caught he, he caught a couple good ones. I mean, he caught some good fish. Uh, Bloody tells me one thing: the bass are spawning. So that's going to be a great tournament. Best of luck to each and every one of you to decide to head to Burnsville and fish that event. Um, and also, very important, if you made it this long in the video, and I hope you did, Bass Nation of West Virginia High School state qualifier northern qualifier this sunday i know you heard about it in the last video and i've harped on it a lot but it is time that we step up i know that there are some teams still looking for boat captains tiger lake sunday the 28th bass nation of west virginia high school state championship qualifier so this is their some of these guys last opportunity to try to make the state championship we need to step up come on somebody somewhere is going to be available that day and uh, can, can head up and work as a, a boat captain, a volunteer time as a boat captain for these young kids. Uh, very, very important. We don't want to see any kid miss out on this opportunity to possibly qualify for their state championship, especially due to not being able to get, get a boat captain. So let's all band together, step up, and see if we can uh, get these last few guys a boat so they can go out and enjoy the day like uh, each and every one of us uh, is going to or wants to. Uh, but like I said, uh, definitely a big, 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 big thing. Let's uh, please try to help them out if we can. Any questions, reach out Bass Nation of West Virginia. Reach out to me, Dion Bright, a youth director for Bass Nation of West Virginia. Uh, Dana Brown, you can reach out to any of these people. Uh, Ken Hackworth, great, great people. Reach out to any of them. Uh, I've seen this shared on Fishing Report West Virginia. I've seen it shared on West Virginia Tournaments page. Uh, so it's out there. Hopefully somebody will please step up and help these kids. Uh, where will I be? Saturday, I'm going to head up to uh, Sutton Lake. we got a small club tournament, United Bassmasters. That's where I got my start tournament fishing and uh, going to go up. I'm actually taking a good buddy of mine. This is, will be his very first ever bass tournament. Uh, he doesn't even really get a fish a whole, whole lot. So this is really exciting for me to share what I do and what we all do with someone that's not familiar hardly at all with it. So he's very excited. I hope to uh, video and do some documenting on that, see what his take is on it as far as uh, how serious we kind of, we, we take this stuff. So that's going to be a whole, whole lot of fun. As always, thanks for joining me. I want to give you a little bit different look. Uh, I'm always sitting at the house in the back room. Uh, uh, in the video lab is what I'll call it. Uh, as you see, we're, we're, well, I'm set up here on the Canal River out of St. Albans. Absolute beautiful day. So I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful day. Get out and enjoy the water this weekend. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me. I'll get you in contact with the appropriate people. So best of luck to all of you this weekend. And as always, we'll see you on the water. If you like what you see here, please subscribe, like, and share. And also hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video drops.